Do the sharp side of the blade. Don't run the back side of the blade on the steel. How to maintain your knives with a sharpening steel. I'm Urshi. Roger. And today we're going to show you how to use a sharpening steel. This, people, is a sharpening steel. So, most people believe that you need to use this in order to sharpen your knives. I believe that. Apparently that's not true. What is it for? It is for maintaining the edge on the knife. What does it do to the edge of the knife? I will show you. Okay, excellent. I'm going to use graphics. Oh. Yes. I can't draw. After you sharpen a knife, the edge should be a straight line. Like that. After you use the knife for a while, the edge starts turning into a wavy line. Just from use. Remember that this edge is a molecule or two, so it's very delicate and it will start looking wavy. The steel will take this and straighten these bumps off and you'll end up with a straight edge. It doesn't, it takes metal off the blade if you use it too hard, but generally all you want to do is turn this back to that. You do that by angle, pressure, and speed. Now, I've got to tell you, I've actually never used a sharpening steel, so he's going to talk to us about the three things to keep in mind on the angle, pressure, and speed. He's going to show us how, and then I'm going to do it, and he's going to watch and correct, because whatever mistakes I make, you're probably going to make. Okay, so there's um, three parts to the steel. There's a handle, there's this little um, bolster, mm -hmm. and the steel itself. Okay, the bolster has a flat spot on it. That's so it won't roll off the table. The bolster also has a bevel on it. Now this happens to be a shun steel, so I don't know that any of the rest of them have bevels or not, but this one's got a bevel. That sets the angle of the blade when you pull it across the steel. So the other thing you want to do is that this steel is kind of pointy and it's quite hard. And if you've got soft countertops, this will put a dent in your countertop. So you can use a washcloth, you can use a piece of silicone, or everybody has paper towels. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah. This hang on, is like. Hang on. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Had a little stain on there. <laughs> okay. So you take your knife. There's your steel. Hold your steel upright. Okay. Now, butcher shops or movies and all that, you always see them with the steel and they're doing this and just flying mm -hmm. through it. That's fine for a butcher that constantly is doing his knife and sharpening. Or and her knife. Her knife. What we're going to do is we're going to lay this steel up on this bevel. See? Yep. And then we're going to slide it down until it touches the steel. Now if we pull it across there, it will be right on that bevel of that edge. Okay? Doesn't have to be fast. You don't have to push real hard. So you just pull it across there. Why do you have to do both sides? You don't have to, right? No, you have to because the bumps are on both sides. Well, because it's sharpened on both sides. Not sh it's not sharpening it, it's taking the wave. Right, right, right. And Got half it. the wave points one way. Half the wave so, points the other way. And you don't need to do it a whole lot, okay? Three or four times, and then straightened out. You can actually hear it if the knife, when you first do it. You can feel it, yeah. Okay, can I try? That way? Mm hmm. Okay, I'm going to start at the back because. Stand back a little bit so your arms are a little straighter, okay? Don't have to hold it real. Yep. Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> don't don't all don't you're listen. doing okay, yeah, hang let on. me show you. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. All you're doing with that bolster is you're not holding the knife against the bolster. Mm -hmm. You're just using the knife to set the angle, then you can do it clear down here. Oh I see, I see, I see. Oh it's that's that's guide. quite helpful. Okay, so it doesn't have to be there, it could be anywhere. This is just the angle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Am I doing it right? Yeah, but you're still trying to use the bolster to hold the knife. Go down a couple inches. There you go. Down a couple inches. There you go. Should you should use the steel before or after you finish using the knife? You should use the steel every time you use the knife. You take it out of the knife block, you run it on the steel two or three times. Not a lot. You don't want to remove any metal. All you want to do is straighten that edge. And then you'll find that it cuts a lot sharper. It actually, when it's wavy, it's not necessarily dull, it's just wavy and pulling that wave through something makes it a lot uh, less sharp. Harder to pull through. Okay, yeah. all right, so basically, hold it like this, Yep. put it on something that's non-slip, Yep. use this I, as a guide, uh -huh. 
And I'd uh, do the other side yeah, of the blade. Okay, yeah. yes. Use this as do a the sharp side of the blade. Don't run the back side of the blade on the steel. I'm not paying attention. Okay, so do this. Use yeah. that as a guide and pull through very gently and all the way through. Yeah, but right? move down from the bolster a little bit. Yeah. Makes it there easier. If you take this knife and you put that right there and you put it up here and you push real hard and you pull real fast, you'll see steel shavings. It's not doing your knife any good. It's actually making your knife dull. So if you're getting shavings, you're doing it way too hard, way too fast. So don't do that. Okay, so get the angle right. Don't press too hard and take your time about it. Nobody's filming you. Well, they were filming us, but nobody's filming you. You can take your time and take really good care of your knives. This was our review for how to use a, a sharpening steel, a honing steel to keep your knife sharp. I'm Arvishi. I'm Roger. Thank you for watching.